Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Down here at Mass Ave. Doing our thing like we always do. Let's see what we got going on here. Seven. Seven. Six. Alright, so they shut down Mass Ave. Look at these guys. So this thing is shut down. Every Thursday we shut down Mass Ave for methadone mile people going on out here. How you doing buddy? So just gonna give you an idea of what's going on in the city. We shut this down for about an hour. So let's go see what we got. And they're being pretty effective. If they keep this up, you know, something's gonna have to give. Yeah. Eventually. See all the people out here. How's it going? All right. Administering a city, administering a state. However, they still need to bring and figure out how to come together. Body, the the all right. One more poop on our stoop. There you go. Some services out here. All right. Shooting up on their neck. This is not okay. This is not okay. 
question is, where's Charlie Baker, where's Marty Walsh, where's all our public officials in this crisis? Where's our state representative? Where's our city councilor? Um, as far as we know, they haven't done nothing. Matter of fact, they haven't done anything. Because that, if you go down by Mass Ave and Molina Cass, it's even got worse than ever before. One day I'll do a video over there so you guys can see exactly how it is. It's so bad you can't even walk the street. Last half, full tour, District 13, 4556. That's the last half, uh, full tour, 13, 4556. Where, where, where is Marty? The, the mayor is not answering. The, the, mayor, the mayor doesn't care. He, oh my he, God. He's bought by the highest bidder. He's, he's for sale. He's, he's bought and paid for by all the big investors. He doesn't care about the community. Marty Walsh will not even return your phone call, just so you know. Try, try to call. If you, if you doubt me, call 617-635-4000. Six, say you want to speak to Marty Walsh. I guarantee you he will not call you, call you back. Get, try it. Just, just try it and see. Marty's a chump. He's an alcoholic and he's a chump. That's what he is. I said it, Marty Walsh. Ned Porter said it. I said you're a chump. What are you going to do about it? say about our mayor? You got anything to tell our mayor? He needs to do better. What can he do? A lot better. My starter is making this building a shelter. It's been abandoned for a hundred years. You're not doing anything with it. That building's been there since I was in middle school. I'm grown. That building's not doing anything. Those Chinese people been moved out of there. They have three stores next door. You can turn that into a shelter. Instead of stuffing people up in Woods Mullen and Pine Street and Rosie's Place and in these streets, you can put them right in there. It don't cost you nothing. Nothing but love. All right. It's a message from Marty Walsh. Get off your ass and do something, Marty, before it's too late. Marty's gonna sell that building to the highest bidder. That's what he's gonna do. So he the one to line his pockets. Mass Ave is a public health crisis. See that?
good question. Where, where is Baker at? Where is Baker? Where is he at? Baker doesn't care. That's the problem. How's it going, my man? How's it going? All right. Not too bad. I like that one right there. I put that on my Facebook page. I think she saw it up there. You saw it? I'm going to post it again. I'm gonna, keep, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep posting these pictures. As a matter of fact, I, I gotta go more, more than that. I'll do something different next time. Watch out for the bus! Constituents. You gotta, you gotta, you wanna say this is gonna, this is gonna go on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, now I'm, he, I'm here because uh, the governor of the state has refused to take action to solve the conditions and the problems that all of us in the city of Boston and the state are facing. And we're disappointed, and we need him. He hasn't been vocal. He hasn't been representing us, and he needs to step up and take action. All right. And he's not gonna break. He's not gonna break the uni the unity of the South End, Roxbury, and other parts of the city getting together. All right. We'll be here every Thursday. Every Thursday. I said Twitter. I said no, it's called Tweet. I said oh, shit. What's going on, my man? Good to see you. He, you know, he back out here too. I'm out here. I'm out here. Why are you out here? Same reason why he's out here. Give her these needles. Give her these drugs. All this crime going on. Marty Walsh, get off your ass and do something. Charlie Baker, where you at? We gotta find him. Yeah, I gotta, thought I was bad. We gotta bring it to him, man. We gotta bring it to him. Sunday, we'll be at Baker's house. Meet us right here at 10 o'clock. We'll be leaving here at 10.30. Right here in the corner. Washington and Mass Ave. We'll be right here where the orange line used to flow through here. And we used to all try to not get, I guess you kind of said get wet. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. I used to hate that. This is <laughs> I remember that. Damn. This would be uh, Do Dover Station. No, this was right. Dover, right? Yeah. Mass Ave. No, Mass Ave. Oh, Northampton. Right. North Northampton. She's right. You Northampton. Northampton. Because you woke up and you heard that screech. Turn it into it. <laughs> I know, right? And this is what? Look, I see them change. But it's still, the, it's still I see it. It's evolving. But look, you can turn, you can turn that into a show. Yo, the big old yeah. Somebody later on in the week got to go to the Dunkin' Donuts. There was a needle in there, right? And I was doing what I do. I got to go to the um, One of the workers there, I guess, is a manager, but got to go to the top manager. They're willing to give us coffee every Thursday for what, hey. what I just hey. did in the store. Woo. So we'll check the manager so oh, we yeah. have coffee every Thursday. So the yeah. district manager. See that? Community coming together. We go. All right, Daddy, man. Just got coffee for every Thursday. I, 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 I just had to pay for this stuff, but that's why. So Sunday they're going to Charlie Baker's house. How you doing, my man? All right. Good to see you. What's going on, brother? All right. See, when you give, you get back. There you go. That girl was scared. Really? She knew once she. Like right. danger, danger. She knew the back right off. I said, no, no. I looked at. It. I said, I got you. Don't worry about it. That's how you do it. But you're supposed to be scared. Oh yeah, you, you don't want to be touching and that. You're not equipped at it for this right. job to pick that up. Exactly. You get out of hands with it. Even if you could do it. I 
just everybody call Marty Walsh's office. If you're in the Boston area, it's 311. If you're outside the Boston area, it's 617-635-4000 or 617-635-4500. Call Marty Walsh's office every single day. Ask him what he's gonna do about this mile. At the corner, Washington and Mass Ave. Something needs to be done. needles on our stoop. Good on, my man. All right. How are you? What do you, what do you think about the needles on us too? Well, I'm an elected official who lives in the community, so I know it needs to end because no one wants to live with you know uh, this quality of life. You know that's why I'm here today to meet with everybody. All right. What's your name? My name is Nez Porter. Hi, Nez Porter. And are you in the South End, Roxbury? Um, I'm more in the Roxbury area. Okay, which street? Well, Linwood Square. Okay, that's good. Fort Hill. Fort Hill, you got it. You got it. Say it again. Can I not film me with the phone? Yeah. If you didn't call me over here, I wouldn't put the... for fucking stop fucking filming well, with that phone, well, don't, don't though. Act... That's a violation of no, my rights, not. though. No, it's not. It is, bro. Constitutional right. It is. You got to ask no me permission, No expectation of privacy in public. You got to ask me permission, Well, get off the, bro. Get off the camera, and I want to... Ask, get, the, get that shit out of my face, or you, I'll break it, bro. You can break the camera, you're going to have a big problem, I don't buddy. give a fuck, You're going to have a serious fucking a problem. Fuck, I guarantee you. I don't you touch this camera, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Yeah, and I'm going to fucking kill you. Try it, try it. Try it right now. I put this camera on and whip your ass. Yeah, right. Go ahead and try it. Yeah, okay. I guarantee you I'll fuck you up. I guarantee you I'll fuck you up. I'm willing to bet some money on the motherfucker. You you called me over here. I was talking to somebody else. Just so you know, there's no expectation of privacy in public. Just so you know, constitutional right. No, no expectation of Well, Well, go call the cops and see what they say. Next time you see a guy with a camera, don't confront him. Shit, you're gonna come up here and talk. You, 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 man, you're lucky I'm having a good day, man, because I'd knock you the fuck out right now. <laughs> yeah. You have a good day. Get high on somebody else's supply. He's going to come up there and tell me he's going to hit me for recording him. Get, get the hell out of my way, and I won't have that problem. Oh, man. <laughs> that dude's about to get floored. He's about to get floored in the worst way. He, he makes more than both me, me and you put together, man. Okay. He's good. he's on the public dime, man. I know he got money in his pocket. Oh, Ask Marty for some money. Where, where's Marty at? Close. Yeah, is he still overseas? He is, but yeah. he's been, you know, he's made every Corey meeting. Corey was here last week. Uh -huh. He's, he's uh, uh, assistant Corey. 
he was your last He's name. a really great person. I mean, I'm just talking. Marla and Dave are my constituents. Yeah. And we've been dealing with this for multiple years. And so it's just fun for me. And We're talking decades yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's getting, I was just telling her that I got a call today from someone who went to yeah. You know, like the top of Edward yeah. Square. Yeah. It's, it's all over there. at this point. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People it's in the back bay are finally seeing it, but it's been going back two decades over here and in Roxbury and in Southie. Two weeks before that, someone from Andrew Square said something. Yeah. So I think that the issue is, you know, it's a statewide you know, problem. Yes. It's actually a national problem. Yes. Right? Yes. And the thing that's complicated, you want people to get help. I want homeless people to get a shelter. You know, yes. this is the richest country in the world. We don't want people living on our streets. It's embarrassing. The but conditions are inhumane and out absolutely. of control. Yes. And I think that's the message is that none of us are against the people getting treatment, but this isn't helping any of the people getting treatment. We're not getting it. We're at capacity, and I, I believe, and I think many of us believe, that the issue has gone beyond the capacity of the city to handle it. And because we're at capacity, the people that really need treatment aren't getting the help they need. And there's not enough, something to be told, is not enough detox beds right. in the Commonwealth to help people get. That's right. You know, and I think that people are working really hard, and I oh, yeah. think for sure. We see, we see the, the, the workers down there working hard. Really not, I mean, the DPW I mean, is doing the best they can. The, the D4 is trying to do the best they can. The police, yes. but... You know, there's a lot of people trying, but the volume is with 200 some odd people with no shelter. Right. And they don't want to get clean. You know, that's the other problem. Well, yeah, people, need a, people need to yeah. need to raise their hand when they're ready. But we gotta we're putting the people clustered in an environment down there where you're where it's predatory and it's 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 too easy to fall into the bad the bad trap. And I really appreciate the unity because for example, the saturation of services has been there yeah. long before the shelter was broken down. Right. And so for example, when people are fighting the bio the bio lab, yeah. you know, you have a hospital, you have a methadone clinic, four shelters, and for the 1,400 people, I don't know how many other people come and get methadone every day, right. 1,200 of them go home, they go to their jobs, there are doctors, there are lawyers, you know, there are right. cab drivers, but the problem is with 200 people with nowhere to go, yeah. the saturation then is a big problem. Big problem. And I know Senator Diana Zivio, she's out of like the North Shore area, was trying to address this issue of saturation because that's really what it is. Yes. It's all services in one location. In one location. And where people live. And you know, I live a block from Clifford Park. So Domingo's knows this. Yeah. I've been part of this for a very long time. You know, even today, I can honestly say though the truth. I didn't know this part of I did. This part of Law Roxbury was this way. Yeah. Because I'm so overwhelmed with what's happening in our district that I even don't cross Melania and Mass enough yeah. to be able to see basically lots of people living on the street all the way from, um, from Dudley Square. It's, it's a whole and thing. It's remarkable because I hadn't never seen that so in the BPS building. Liz how, do, Liz, how do we get? There's 160, right, of you in the in the body. So there's 160 reps and there's reps. 40 senators. So so how do we get the other 158, right, and the other 38 set to, to pay attention? Because I think like when I was talking to John Santiago, that's one of the struggles. Is like how do you get the other 158 that don't see it, that don't experience it, to get to care about what's going on? Because ultimately, I mean, you just anecdotally talk to people. They're from all over the state. These are people from where I grew up in the Framingham area. These are people from Springfield. These are people from the South Shore, the North Shore. I think we have to get people who live in the districts of the other electeds to, to raise up the, the issue that there is a public health crisis happening in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Right. And the burden is being shouldered by the people who live in the South End and Roxbury. Right. But then it's spreading to the South Boston and Dorchester. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much permeated. It's permeated the whole community. And that's the thing. Me and John are both first-time reps, right? Yeah, yeah. We're like 17 months into a job where we have COVID, unemployment, yeah. DTA. Talk about being uh, thrown to the fire. Violence. Yeah. We have, uh, you know, an economy that isn't working for most of the people in our district. Most Housing. of the people in my district are service-oriented workers. Yeah. Like, we're, we're so overwhelmed with the amount of work that has to be done. We need our colleagues to really jump in and support here. Right. Because these are all of our children. You know, like, that's right. that's, you know, it's not just, you know, Roxbury. Roxbury and South End have always been welcoming. That's right. Because we know the history of this community. Every immigrant group it's has all, called that's this place home, that's right? right? Yeah. So, you know, it's not just Irish, Italians, Germans, you know.
So I just think that that's the thing that I would suggest. And we're working because I actually called the governor's team today. We're saying, you know, like, what do I do as a state rep? You know, right. I'm getting calls and emails every day, and you can't respond fast enough. You know what I mean? That's right. I go running near the park. I can't encampments, feces, sexual behavior. Like, there's so much happening. The roundhouse. There's so much happening, even in these square two blocks. Yes. That it's hard to say. How do I see outside? of this space. And so I would think we need the people in Massachusetts to join us. Yes. Can I ask you something you said yeah. outside of a, one of the ideas that we had we got to Andrea was that when the DA did the clean sweep, they can get the data of the top five cities that people are migrating from. And Charlie and Marty just pulled them together to have a summit and basically Marty can use his, his not Marty, um, Charlie can use his governorship to basically say, hey, we need to have a Zoom summit and these are the top five towns and figure out a way that folks can get treated. I went down the other day with rep and what I saw is ridiculous and I just don't think it's right and fair and fair. And I know you advocate for working on the market. But what folks are dealing with and seeing, you know, Ashland's out here advocating, but there are other Ashlands that walk down the street and they see these people with me and this thing out there. So I know I think the thing that I would stress is that this is not a problem that government can solve alone, right? Alone, this is, but they're a big part. Yeah, yeah. But I think this is, needs to be a public private partnership. And you know, the yes. reason why I say that is because businesses have a stake in this, nonprofits have a stake in this, government has a stake. And and the citizens of the Commonwealth also have a stake. I think that what people need to understand is that legislature is one, and I think it's a very important body yeah. to yeah. be able to have, and I've already spoken to the chairwoman of this committee, but maybe have a hearing of the Mental Health Addiction and Trauma Committee yeah. and the Public Health Committee on this specific issue. And what about law Hopefully, enforcement too? Because we're changing, we don't want people to go out and get arrested and defunding. No. But there's, the, the reason methadone mile is fueled by the dealers that are there, and, and Ms. Hughes was sharing that as soon as they get off the bus or whatever, coming in for treatment. So yeah. people who want help can't get help. Because yeah. they can't get help in a, in a place right. where, you know the, how they say, you can't heal in a place where you've been harmed. No, that's it's right. It's a very hard people, places, and capacity pain. for you to actually heal in a place where you yeah. see drugs yeah. all the time. But, and so, dead. for example, in Mass and Cass, I hate calling it methadone mile because you know, one of the things Nobody Byron talks about on this for a long time. <laughs> kind of he funny. mentioned that you know one of the things that's the struggle is that there are already three police departments and a special unit dedicated to mass and cast, right? So there are resources that have owned this uh, community. And we want to make sure that people are responded to with dignity yes. and that they That's get right. help. Absolutely. And I That's think that right. that is the, the line that I think is being yeah. blurred now is that people that live in this community who have gone through